Hey, hey, hey. I haven't forgotten about you. The daily vlog has turned into not so daily, but I'm going to keep it. It is here and I am really moving through so much that has for a really long time held me back from doing the things that I wanted to do. I am at the place that I am repeating the cycles of um, having great passion and excitement for something and a deep knowing that I'm supposed to do it and yet feeling something in the way, um, which is, you know, what I help people move through with the emotion code sometimes. Um, and so I actually did just sit here um, and I was able to, to come to a, a specific question. I, I asked, do I have a heart wall specifically related to business? Because I, I cleared my heart wall. And this is a, another topic. Heart walls are um, really, really interesting. It's essentially your, wall, your heart's way of protecting itself. And so what it does is it uses the trapped emotions that are already in your body at that current time and it pulls them together like armor and forms this barrier around your heart. And when you're in an abusive relationship or um, something traumatic in your life is happening in childhood, um, your heart might need this protection, this barrier. And so in that time, those trapped emotions that are coming together as armor are really helpful and useful. But then after that, um, that, that season of life is over, the barrier is still there. And that means that you don't feel everything that's coming to you from the world, all of the love, opportunities, um, you know, things that are there for you. And the world doesn't feel all of you because of this wall. And so, and there are different variations um, of walls that can be found within our body using the emotion code. Um, Bradley Nelson really just talks about the heart wall, but as I've been kind of exploring, I've been finding some different things on my own. Um, and so I asked in this different way, and because my heart wall was cleared, I asked, do I have a heart wall? And it's not, no. Um, but when I asked, do I have a heart wall specifically related to business? I got a yes. Um, if I ask right now, do I have a heart wall specifically related to business? I get a no. Um, I released a bunch of heart wall emotions a little while ago. Um, I found it was rooted at age 10, which is interesting that it was specifically had something to do with business. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let that kind of be there and just have the intention if there's a connection or an insight that would be helpful, um, that that come into my mind because that's, that's interesting. I know there were, I didn't ask all the ages for some of them and then I was like, oh, I'm curious. So I, I did start to, um, and the ones that were from around 10 were related to my parents' divorce mostly, um, and starting in a new school and that's interesting. Like the business is like going, putting yourself out there in the world in this different way. And, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm just gonna, I don't need to figure it out. I'm going to let that be. Um, the other day I actually did, it was like, would have been like in a row. I made a video. I, I put stuff, uh, teasers up on social media and I made a video about, using the emotion code with children and it was super exciting but all day that day technology was just not working and uh, all kinds of things just kept coming like bumping bumping in the road bumps in the road um and at one point the phone ran out of memory for making the video and i don't know how to edit this is something I've got to work on too. Um, but I made a second video. I figured out how to put them together. It wasn't beautiful, but it was good enough. Um, I even like put some words on the bottom, the emotion code with children. And then for whatever reason, it went and upload to YouTube. It just kept saying there was a meta something failure. Um, and so I'm not sure if that was a sign to keep figuring out the editing or to just make a new video. It was a little bit long. I think it was 17 minutes. Um, 
but then I think that was the day before Easter where I worked all day. It was a, a great day um, at the restaurant and with my family. And Sufi's course was in the morning, so it was a really long day. And then there was just yesterday and a whole bunch of other things happened. Uh, life is just really wild, but I, I'm struggling a lot. Um, in moving through my blocks, in remembering what I have to offer, even though logically I know I have so much to offer, there is something that, this voice that is just, yeah, I don't know, it's tricky. So I'm moving through all of that, but I just wanted to update you and let you know I'm here. And I know that, um, I'm not going to give up and like I have in the past, right? Like I wanted to start a childcare center. I've wanted to start community play groups in Philadelphia. There are lots of things that I've, I've begun to pursue and I've never done them. I, I get to this place where that block is there and I've always had a good, um, you know, a good nannying job, um, or an array of them lots of families that I've worked for that paid the bills and that made me pretty happy. Um, it allowed me to have a, a lifestyle that I really liked. I enjoyed most of my days. And so I, I never did those things. And I'm in an, a different place in life. Um, nannying is not an option for me here in Arizona, um, at least in Yuma. And yeah, so we're going to see what happens. Um, but I I feel that, that this is where I would give up. I so want to just give up and run away, even though I know that's not what I'm supposed to do. Um, but I'm going to move through it. And I know, you know, I cleared that heart wall, but it takes, often there's some processing involved, and I, I do feel really tired. I could go probably sleep until tomorrow right now, but I'm going to get ready and go to the restaurant. Um, and then determine some self-care make sure that I am getting some good sleep tonight getting sleep moving our bodies getting out in nature drinking lots of water which I have maybe there are teas and things like these are really really important ways to support yourself and so I'm I've got my oils I'm gonna stay focused and just keep taking one putting one foot in front of the other and uh, I'm excited to continue this journey. Have a beautiful day.